For an early forecast of the Iowa caucus results, the New York Times today offering a preview of its polling-based projection. Based on statistical models, this race is still wide open with as many as five possible winners. Right now, the Times is predicting Newt Gingrich will probably get the most votes, about 25 percent, with Ron Paul coming in second at about 20 percent, followed by Mitt Romney in third with about 15 percent. But they remind us all that right now it is, quote, wide open. Let's take you back to Sioux City, where Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace will be one of the moderators in tonight's debate. Uh, you know, interesting, wide open races. Anything could happen, as we were just talking about one slip and one of these front, front runners um, might find themselves near the back of the pack, huh, Chris? Well, that's right, John. And conversely, a, a really good statement, uh, a, a real appeal to the voters here of Iowa might catapult somebody. I, I agree with the first part of what you said about the New York Times. I think this race is wide open. And when they said five, I think you could maybe say six. Uh, I'm not sure who you would count out at this point, except for John Huntsman, who isn't competing here. Uh, and, and I think that raises the stakes for the debate tonight on Fox because obviously everybody's got a lot to, to gain and a lot to lose. Uh, Nobody is sitting on the lead here tonight. Uh, we've just been in a two-hour debate session where all of the, the four questioners, uh, Brett Baer, Megan Kelly, Neil and myself, Neil Cavuto and myself, have been going over questions. And, and, and basically, look, one of the advantages is at this point, every, we, we know what they're saying about each other, and there are going to be a lot of cases where you basically say, jump ball. Here's a question. We know you guys disagree about it. Uh, explain why you're right and the other guy's wrong. You uh, told Neil Cavuto that if Ron Paul is to win, it will discredit the Iowa caucuses. Now, Ron Paul's fans are legion and they are very vocal. I'm sure your email box has been overflowing with with uh, <laughs> with reaction to that comment. Uh, but let's say Ron Paul wins. Uh, what does that do to the race? Well, it certainly makes it wide open uh, and, and it certainly uh, means that, that Gingrich and Romney, particularly Gingrich, because I think that he was really uh, counting on a win here after his recent surge, will have been hurt by it and will have been diminished by it. Uh, I don't mean in any way to denigrate uh, uh, Ron Paul. I've interviewed him a number of times on Fox News Sunday. I think he's a very interesting guy. I fully understand why uh, his thousands and thousands, millions of supporters across the country, but thousands here in Iowa are so supportive of him, but I think it, it is fair to say he has a long shot for the Republican nomination. And to the degree that people look at these states and say, are they picking a president? Uh, if they were to pick Paul, I think a lot of the, you know, and maybe we're not so smart, but a lot of the smart guys in the, in the media and in the Republican Party would say, well, that's kind of an aberration. Now, it may be that Ron Paul proves us wrong, and I'd be happy if he did, because it would be a very exciting race. The Romney folks are, are hoping that if, if he doesn't win, I guess they are hoping that Ron Paul does, because they would like to see something uh, blunt Newt Gingrich's surge. Absolutely. No, I mean, you know, it, I think it, for Romney, uh, it's either he win uh, or uh, anybody but, but Gingrich. Uh, and, and, you know, the other people who really have a lot riding in this race, I would say, are Santorum and Bachman, uh, who have really put all of their, their eggs in Iowa. Uh, Santorum has been here for months. Uh, he has gone to all 99 counties. Bachman has been here. She lives in the neighboring state of Minnesota, and she is an Iowa girl. She was uh, born and raised here. Uh, a, a poor showing by either of them would be uh, very damaging to their career, and I'm sure would raise questions about their ability to go on. Well, I know you're going to be there tonight uh, questioning all of the candidates, along with Neil Cavuto and Megyn Kelly and Brett Baer. And you've got uh, Mitt Romney on Fox News Sunday this week, right? We do indeed. His first interview on a Sunday talk show in almost two years, his wow. first uh, interview of this campaign. Uh, so I'm, on the one hand, writing questions for the debate. On the other hand, writing questions uh, for Mitt Romney for this weekend, wondering, of course, about what he's going to say in the debate, which may change everything. And it's hard to write those questions when your hands are cold. We'll let you get back to it. <laughs> no, I, I got my North Face gloves okay. on. I'm all set. <laughs> all right. Chris Wallace, good talking to you. Thank you.